Actually, I'm not really that interested in interfaith work. I'm really more interested in interhuman work. And one of my mantras that I cite frequently when I'm with interfaith people is, you know, you wouldn't need interfaith if people just lift their faith. Uh, interfaith is a necessity when people don't understand their own faith and if they're ignorant of others. So um, with that, let me tell you just a couple of words about myself very briefly and then uh, tell you something about the, uh, the, the long pregnancy that I've been attending to over the last five years. Um, you want to know what that is? <laughs> uh, I had a 20-year career as a businessman in Washington doing something a little unorthodox, which during the days of the Eagle Empire was to uh, help American companies acquire rights to intellectual property from the Soviet Union. Uh, there were only about two or three people doing that at the time, and I was one of the crazy ones. But I managed to do it for about 20 years, and um, the most important lesson that I drew from the, that 20 year experience is that the most important thing in business and in life is relationships. If you don't have good relationships with your employees, your customers, your financiers, you're not going to have a business very long. Well. To stay in business, you need to have good relationships. Um, to live, unless you're going to be a theoretical mathematician or a hermit monk, you need relationships to do anything. Your relationships in your family, in your workplace, in your synagogue, on the playing field, you name it. Relationships ultimately <coughs> what empower us. And what I have seen here in Nashville over the last five years is a wonderful example of the power of relationships. And um, I want to just say a couple extra words about that five year period. You see, I consider myself a little bit like a, a father who has uh, been overseeing uh, or attending to and helping every now and then with the birth of our Muslim neighbor, uh, which gave birth to FCC which gave birth to this event today. And um, what was important in making this all happen? Well, I was trying to think about isolating some things, because there are lots of things I could say. But I would say there were uh, three elements. Patience, good communications, and most importantly, good people, the right people. And uh, as a foundation person whose job is to make grants, I'm a little different there too, because most people in the position that I occupy don't get their hands dirty and get involved in the actual implementation of projects that we fund. But I do this because, A, I have a responsibility to know what's going on with money that we distribute to various projects and people. But I like it. I want to be involved. I want to know. I may even be able to contribute something from time to time besides money. So, um, so I have this uh, unusual, perhaps uh, for, for many grantees, an uh, unusual amount of involvement in, in um, in the projects that uh, I'm the sponsor of on the board. Patience uh, comes into play because foundations often want to get their money spent out, you know, three years, four years, we've got to get the money spent. And uh, this was a project that uh, didn't really follow any easy schedule. Um, we came down in uh, about this time five years ago, or was it four years ago? No, four. A couple of New York foundations. The first instinct was, well, who are these people? Yankees coming down here telling us what to do? Uh, no, no, we may be Yankees, but we're not trying to tell you what to do. We actually want to uh, enable you, help you, because uh, the word has spread around the country, even as far as they 
West Coast in California, in San Jose, that there's some problems in this uh, central Tennessee area, some, uh, some problems of acceptance uh, between the different ethnic groups, and particularly uh, Islamophobia is uh, on the rise. And so you have this uh, community here that uh, not only has a history of some of the best and most progressive actions and thinking and people, but some of the worst. So here was a great place to experiment with doing something that could make a difference in a place where if good things happen, as uh, Joe says, maybe other communities will wake up and say, hmm, what are they doing? That's interesting. How did they get where they got? So um, patience is a big part of it because you got to get relationships right. You got to understand what is the task, how to define it, who's going to be involved. Um, getting everybody on the same page, if you will. Uh, and that doesn't just happen, it takes work and relationship building. 